chase you with this camera. I'm going to chase you with this camera. You ready? I'm going to chase you with this camera. You hear me? Go. I'm going to get you. I'm going to chase you right down like a gazelle. Like a gazelle. A gazelle with this camera. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Come on, fool. Let's go to work. Now what we're going to do is, is we're going to put a uh, kind of like an underlayment. We found this product right here called AirGuard. And uh, what AirGuard does is it's a moisture barrier. Um, it's also a, a sound deadener. It prevents mold and mildew from getting up through your um, floor. Um, it's got like an airflow technology. Uh, supposedly it's the only underlayment with that. Uh, it's, it provides a cushioning also for uh, between the um, insulation and the subfloor so that as things are moving you know uh, it's not making a, a whole bunch of noise with the insulation squeaking up against the um, subfloor etc etc and um, it's also a adds an R value a small R value to the floor so that the floor doesn't get cold anyway so we thought this was kind of a cool product uh, we're going to unroll it. Uh, each one of these rolls is, uh, I think, 100 square feet. Um, yeah, 100 square feet. And it's they're 2 millimeters thick. We're going to try this and see if it works. And if it works, it works. And if it don't, then I'm not sure we'll be able to tell it don't. Because <laughs> this is better than putting nothing under there. So, uh anyway we'll go ahead and roll this out and see if we can make it work we've got 206 square feet on the floor which is cutting it a little bit close so I'll show you guys it's got these little these little styrofoam balls in it you can see that that's where that ear guys well I didn't get to get all of this on video because it got dark on me last night but um, we've now got all of our blue man group floor in I put it under where the shower goes as well I can tell an immediate difference in the um, cushioning and and whatnot of the, uh, the floor so pretty cool product I got it all taped up Uh, that's not going to work.
There we go. One thing we don't want to forget to do is we, we don't want to forget to know where our, where our uh, floor joists are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark them. Gonna get no better. measurement This saw was
my girlfriend's dad's dad's so so this thing is old we're gonna see if we can't put it to use Harold, your dad's old saw made quick time of that. Thank you, sir. You know guys, when something in life happens bad, you don't cry about it. You just pick yourself up and you fix it. That's it. Cry about it. There's too many people crying right now in this world. Crying about everything. Pick yourself up, fix it, and move on. So guys, let me tell you about how unbelievably stupid I just was. Very last piece of subfloor. And I go to put it in, and I can't get it wedged in there right. I didn't realize it was up against that window right there. And I was trying to actually pull it out so I could take the wedge, you know, off, the pressure off. And it snapped that window. So. It's not a big deal. I've had to replace one of these windows before. Oh. But don't get in a hurry when you're doing this. That was un unbelievably stupid. I should have taken my time because that's going to cost me about 50 bucks and then probably an hour to take that window apart and replace it. So It's not a fun job, let me tell you. Not to mention it's a pain in the butt because all this glass is everywhere and now i got to clean it up before I can continue on with the project. So, don't be like Chris. Don't be stupid. Take your time and watch your windows.
Meanwhile, What I did guys was I marked a little line. That's how far out from the wall that the little uh, support beam is there. So I'm just, and I've got an arrow right here. That means this, that goes up against the wall. And then I just slide it up against the wall right here. Make a mark. That's where I know to put the holes. I'm just going to eyeball it and do it about every 8 inches or so. I can feel by the bite of the wood that that's, that this is uh, actually, that they're going in really good, so. Oh. And I'm also countersinking countersinking them a little bit too I don't know if you saw that but just going to go down just a tink and that will give uh, that will give that screw a little bit more to bite into first of all and then second of all it will put it under my sub floor and make it level so I mean, so I have a nice level surface to put my flooring on. This is what we've been doing pretty much all around the edges. I'm just using one inch uh, Craig jig screws. Craig screws, if you've never seen the packaging of a Craig screw, there it is. I'll put the link down in the, the description also. But again, just Taking a half inch bit, which leaves enough for the head to kind of go down into the wood and grab it and hold it. See how that head is flat on the top? I gotta put the, the Craig jig uh, driver, which has got like a little square head on it, 
into the into the drill here. So, and then we're just gonna start drilling these in. 